dollar and a dream. All I had was my city and my team. And my team. Never had no money and no green. Yeah, still I'm getting it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, D. Braz, Dan Brazen in the building. We have some quick little entertainment news for you guys. We hope you're having a good one, by the way. Let's get right into it. There are reports that Comedy Central is working on an updated reboot version of Ren and Stimpy. Seems like that show, you know, is always in reports to come back, but... Comedy Central is a Viacom company. Nickelodeon, I believe, had the rights, you know, and it went from Nickelodeon to MTV because it was more of a mature show. And, hey, Comedy Central, it's right there, man. And Ren and Stimpy was not necessarily the most appropriate kid show. I remember I got this. I was like four or five years old, and it was we were at the supermarket, and they had like a Nickelodeon VHS sampler with like four or five different car like it was like a nicktoon sampler and ren and stimpy was on there all the rest of them were good i believe there was rugrats and doug and maybe rocco maybe a real monster or something like that and then there was ren and stimpy and uh my mom after letting me watch it a few times once she saw what was going on she was like nah you're not watching this you fast forward through that i don't i'm not letting you watch ren and stimpy it was just a lot of weird stuff going on, grabbing butts, and you know, like, like I was only four or five years old. It was kind of inappropriate. Um, they did a lot of kind of sexual innuendos, things like that nature, and you know, it was a lot more funnier now that I'm an adult watching these episodes. But you know, at the time, they were like, it was the one show that the jokes kind of smacked you in the face and they didn't go over a kid's head. Like they were like grabbing booty and stuff and doing cra and you know, doing some crazy stuff on the show. It wasn't like outrageous, but there was like kind of what mild nudity and you know, things that were like, uh, I don't know if this is appropriate for four or five year olds. That's why they pushed it to MTV later on down the line. It was more of like an adult cartoon or a young adult cart or a teenage cartoon, if you will. Um, it wasn't that bad, but I could see, like as a dad, I could see why people were kind of like, yo, get this off of the 3 o'clock slot on Nickelodeon. I get it. And it was also the 90s. So there's a lot more crazier things on TV now, but you have to have some perspective. I actually enjoy Ren and Stimpy, and it, it's a little weird. You know, it was that Beavis and Butthead era. You know, it was that weird comedy and then later on you know we had hank hank hill a few years later like that weird funny comedy that was just a little bit out there and you know and everyone was trying to make this beavis and butthead simpsons like show where they were trying to be cool and funny at the same time but also different and weird and just a bunch of different things going on some shows were great some shows weren't i thought ren and stimpy was classic though they had some funny jokes man uh, what was your favorite Run and Stimpy joke from the show? What was your favorite episode? I'd love to know. We love you guys. Thanks for watching the show. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys. Peace.